Hello, sweet souls. This is going to be part two for Saturday, October 21st. And I already started to pull some cards. We had a con St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and the ancestors and ask for a message for your greater good. So I used my deck um, and I just said, you know, tell me about this person, what's going on. And the first card that came out was player. This person is a player. This person is not loyal. They do not have the ability to be loyal in any one relationship. This is a very broken, weak, and secure energy who has to seek validation from multiple partners because they are broken within themselves. This person also has a very toxic work environment, which only um, supports the player energy. You have this divine union that's coming in. You have let go of the past and victory will be yours. When I look at the bottom of the deck, I can see this person who is immoral with no integrity. What came against an earth angel, which is you, tried to put you out in the cold, make you an outcast, turn people against you. This player will lose their job. They will have legal issues, an STD. They will go to physical prison or they will be in prison in 3D realm, which means they will not be able to have any kind of success in their life. They will be stuck and it's gonna happen in the near future. When I started pulling from the Rider Waite, the first card out is the tower, the tower in the upright. The tower is coming for this person. This person is feeling very foolish, but trying to have strength in this situation. They could also have Leo placements. Um, they're in deep regret. We saw in the first reading, they are being reminded constantly by the divine of their actions and they're spying. Now they want to come forward and give either a love offer or an apology. So let's just see. Tell me about the intentions of the Knight of Cups. What's going on with the Knight of Cups? They're coming in lust-filled energy, player energy. The Ace of Wands in reverse is lust. This isn't um, a king coming in um, that has a lot of love and wants to have a true new beginning. No, this is lust. This person doesn't know how to operate any other way. Tell me about this, please. Yeah, this person is so used to playing the victim and now they're stuck. They're stuck playing the victim. No forward movement because now they're bound to a karmic. Lovers in reverse, they are bound. They cannot escape this karmic. They have a karmic contract with this karmic energy that they have to fulfill. They will not be able to escape this karmic no matter what they do until that karmic obligation is filled. Truth has come to light. The truth has come to light. And this is the hand of God bringing forth the truth. What is the truth, please? What is the truth? That this person abandoned the one person that they truly loved. You. The pre-empress. Lady or man of luxury. They abandoned the one thing that they loved the most. Okay, well, why did they abandon? Why did they abandon the collective? This person, they're filled with a lot of anxiety. They were uncertain. They didn't know what to do. They didn't know what choice to make. They were confused. They didn't see clearly. Why were they confused? Yeah, that's what I thought. They were confused because of greed. They wanted to win at all cost. They chose someone for money and this caused them confusion and that desire for greed overpowered their love. They didn't listen to their intuition at all. They didn't listen. Okay, well, what's, what's gonna happen? What actions is this person gonna take to the collective, with the collective, what actions? What's gonna happen here? Well, I can tell you, this person has been trying to create chaos and conflict for this divine feminine or masculine for a very long time because they have remained low vibrational and in player energy. So 
when I'm asking what actions are going to take and going to take, it's more of the same. They're going to continue to try to bring chaos and conflict to this divine feminine, divine masculine. But it doesn't matter because the collective is going to have victory no matter what, because it's ordained by God. God is ensuring that the collective has victory. Okay. What else do we need to know about this situation? Wow. So this person is bound to a karmic feminine or masculine. Queen of Cups in reverse is an emotional manipulator, a very insecure, self-absorbed, emotionally immature um, manipulator. And this person from your past is connected, working with this person to bring chaos and conflict in this low vibe energy. But now they're having a change of heart. Now they want to apologize. But you are divinely protected from this energy. Because you're not trapped. You are free. You are free and clear to go, to move on with your life. You know everything this person has done when you were with them and when you after you left them. You're well aware. You're celebrating your life and you are making plans for the future. You are moving away from the past. You have your back to the past. There's nothing good to be had or gained from the past. Yeah, you are the queen of pentacles. You're grounded, you're stable, you're financially secure, you're nurturing, you're a loving person. Yeah, and God's the, the one guiding you to take your power back, to go after your passions and your dreams, to know your value and worth, to know how beautiful or handsome you are. God is the one that's building you up now. You will have stability. You have a twin faint flame soulmate union. This is meant for you. You will have victory and divine love because you listened to God. You walked away and you healed and you closed the cycle out. You are this earth angel and whoever juggled you will be in deep regret forever. That's their punishment. They will be reminded constantly of the actions that they took, controlling, dominating, and being very greedy. This person was so money hungry. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. They put a lot of work in to come against you, but they will be heartbroken. They may have be put in a third party situation themselves if they did that to you. They will experience death, sudden endings in their life that they cannot control. This change is coming no matter what. Will you continue to speak your truth, stay private, and receive multiple wishes that is justice for the deception that was done the illusion that was cast against you you're moving on to peace good karma is coming in quickly for you be open to receive it when you walked away from this person you healed and you aligned with someone that is aligned with you your match doesn't matter the sign they're saying you're aligned with this person you walked straight into manifesting a new beginning for yourself, not only um, in life, career finance, but also in love. So that's beautiful. If you're interested in purchasing my deck, guys, it's $28.88. Um, you can email my husband. Um, you have to pay tax and shipping. It's under $10 in the U.S. My husband's email is tashas.merch at gmail.com, all lowercase, no apostrophe. So I want to get some... No, I want to do the moonology. Let's do the moonology real quick, and then I'll close this reading out. We'll do the angel answers on my angel messages. Okay, for the collective, let's do the moonology here and see what comes out. What's going on in the situation for the collective? What's going on with the situation for the collective? This came out, I think, yesterday. Nothing will come of the situation. No matter what this person does to come against you, it's going to fall short. God's blocking it. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Go after what it is you want to create in your life. It's time to take action. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. You learned your value and worth. You know you're more than good enough. You know how amazing you are now. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. You are proud and confident now because you trust in God. You know God's guiding you now. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. The bottom of the deck says, 
meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces, what it is you want to manifest. What do you want to create in this lifetime? All right, guys, I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.